um good evening uh guys i just want any one of you to kindly confirm if you can get me and if the the screen is visible that side can someone confirm okay all right thank you very much so in today's class we are going to continue from where we ended we're going to continue from where we ended on binary operation and like i've already stated this will be our last part in terms of binary operation so the remaining things will just be us revising the same concept so this is the basic concept i'm going to give you and uh, make sure that you follow up and utilize it so uh last time we ended on how to identify if uh, a binary operation exists or doesn't exist so one thing that you need to understand is that a binary operation so a binary operation of which we stated that a binary operation can be defined by a star a star like symbol uh, can either be can either can either be either be commutative commutative or associative or associative or neither so um what i'm just trying to explain on this particular point is that a binary operation can be commutative it can be associative it can be both or it cannot be both so it's very important for us to know if um, a given binary operation is commutative or associative and sometimes it's very important for us to also take note of um, if that particular binary operation um, is not either of them so one thing that we we have to understand is that a binary operation a binary operation a binary operation which can be denoted by a star can only be can only be commutative can only be commutative if and only if so a binary operation can only be commutative if and only if a star b is equal to b star a a star b is equal to b star a when you pick the the common mathematical uh, arithmetics for example if you say something like if you say something like 1 times 2 is the same as 2 times 1 because both of them will give you a 2 you can also say 3 plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 3 these two guys they will still give you a 4 okay so if you look at addition and multiplication these two are commutative addition and multiplication these two are what are commutative same applies with uh, sets let's say if you say a intersection b is the same as b intersection c is a, is a intersection a they're just the same just that they have just been rearranged and the operation in this case which was used here was multiplication there was addition and there was um was intersection 
same applies with the union it will behave the, the same way but if you consider things like division subtraction those guys sometimes they are not going to be uh, commutative so when you talk of the commutativity this is just showing a relationship between two sets okay a relationship between two sets or two operations so this a and b can be anything it can be a set it can be an operation it can be anything so for a binary operation to be commutative for it to be said that okay this binary operation is commutative we need to understand that a star b should be equal to b star a a star b should be equal to b star a all right with this information in mind we can also talk about um the the issue of um the issue of associativeness so one thing we need to understand is that a binary operation i'm going to write that a binary operation which is normally denoted by a star can can only can only be associative can only be associative if and only if it obeys the following can only be associative if and only if it obeys what i'm about to write so a binary operation can only be associative if let's say a star b a star b star c a star b star c is simply equal to um is simply equal to a star open bracket b star c so these are the two laws that you need to make sure that you pay particular attention when you're talking about how associative a given set is or if that given operation is commutative so basically in the exam you'll be mostly asked about commutative as compared to associativeness but when you consider commutative in most cases you just have to stick to the letters but when you talk of associativeness you can utilize the letters but you're going to have challenges as a result i advise you for associativeness to make sure that you use the numbers okay so for the associativeness you use the numbers and the commutativeness you use these same letters so for this one you are just simply going to use these same letters but another thing that i would love to emphasize on is in as much i've stated that you can use the letters you can use the numbers there you need to understand the question okay for some questions they are going to specify the numbers you can use and for other questions they are not going to specify so it's very important as a junior mathematician to make sure that you understand the question and then you apply every little concept that is in your head so this is the basic information but after having this basic information we can now utilize this information to apply it in what in questions so for now we are now going to look at the questions which i'll call as examples but before i move on do we have any questions on the previous uh, explanation on this particular part do we have any questions Twabona, do you have any question Twabona, any question all right uh chimuka do you have any question chimuka is chimuka around no all right you don't have 
Frederick, do you have any question? You can proceed, sir. Okay. Which part? Okay, so the one for associativeness, if you observe very well, it's just the issue of changing the positioning of the brackets, the position of the brackets. If you look at the bracket, they are in between A and B, but on that particular, they are between B and C. So it's just the positioning of the brackets. Nothing uh, new there. Is that okay, uh, Frederick? All right, that's good. So let's quickly look at the examples. Let's quickly look at the examples. And then once we do these examples, like I've already been stating, this is the basic information. Then I'm going to look for the exam questions and I'll utilize those exam questions to explain more. And that will be during the revision classes. But what Teva will be doing during the revision classes, the information depends on this same information I'm giving you. So the question is the binary operation, uh, the binary operation, the binary operation, which is normally denoted by a star, a binary operation which is denoted by a star on real numbers okay so we have a very important statement where they are saying on real numbers okay real numbers i'll explain more on that is defined by is defined by is defined by the formula is defined by the formula so we are going to be given the the formula is defined by the formula then this formula is just simply a star b a star b is simply equal to let's say open brackets we can say a plus b squared and then we can simply have a um, minus a b minus a b so this is the this is the formula which we have been given and then the question is the first question is determine whether the operation is commutative okay so this is the first question so in most cases in most cases this is how the questions are first the first question might be determine whether the binary operation is exists or doesn't exist then the next part will be determine whether the binary operation is commutative and then the other part which has to do with the associ associativeness so uh, determine whether determine whether the binary operation whether the operation whether the operation is commutative so most cases they'll ask you about the commutativeness of the binary operation then b you'll be given something like evaluate okay b you normally be given something like evaluate and this is something that is a must to get correct this is something that is a must to get correct so this can be, let's say I have one star four and then cross brackets, I can have star three. And the last one is, let's say I have a one star open bracket four star three. So if you look at um, at this particular B, B is more of the associativeness.
B is more of the associative net. So in some cases they will add on and a last question which says state whether the binary operation is associative. State whether the binary operation state whether the binary operation binary operation is associative okay so this is another section of uh, the question which you are going to be asked so basically from the previous class we looked at how you can state whether the binary operation exists or doesn't exist so the next thing that should be in your mind is how can you determine if a binary operation is commutative or not then you know how to evaluate and lastly you know to whether the binary operation is associative or not associative so that's the basic information that anyone can give you when it comes to um to the binary operation okay so let me just write the the correct spelling for that particular part so let's quickly go into details and look at a and also we look at b and then lastly we look at c okay so one thing that you need to understand before you even move um you, before you even move to solving one thing that you need to look at is the formula so your eyes should be on the formula so the first thing that you need to consider before you do anything is knowing the formula so the formula is the first thing that has to be in your mind so this is where your eyes should be this is where your eyes should be everything that we are going to be doing depend on this formula okay it's more like the guide you can't do it without it okay so basically all these questions that we are going to solve they depend on this particular formula so your eyes should be on this formula nowhere else but on this formula so that should be your first thing in mind then your next thing in mind is you knowing the laws the next thing that you need to know is the laws yes you know the formula but if you don't follow the laws you are going to mess up so when you know the formula the next thing that you need to know are the laws what does the law of commutativity state what does the law of commutativity state so we are going to start with that so our formula basically it is a star b okay is simply equal to open bracket a plus b squared minus a b so this is our what this is our formula so that's the first information we have to get but the next information we have to get is the law okay so here we are going to say uh for the binary operation for the binary operation which is denoted by star to be to be associative for a binary operation which is denoted by a star to be associate to be um commutative sorry for for putting associative there um, maybe it's because I'm already on C to be commutative okay for a binary operation to be commutative we need to understand that a star B should be equal to what B star a okay a star B should be equal to B star a that's a very nice uh, law that everyone is supposed to know then you can't solve both sides so you're going to take one side okay so you're going to say taking the left hand side taking the left and side so let's quickly get the left hand side and see what it's going to give us 
So the left hand side is this one, which is A star B. So A star B is basically whatever is there, which is A plus B squared minus AB. So our next task is just to expand that particular part. So it's going to be A star B is simply equal to this is the same as a plus b close bracket a plus b open bracket and then minus a b with time you're going to know how to easily work out this part but for now since we are dealing with basics we haven't yet gone further to binary um expansion binomial expansion we haven't done that so i'll do it step by step then a star b is simply equal to there you can say a open bracket a plus b we are multiplying a throughout with that and then plus b this b is coming there you multiply it by everything that is inside there and then minus a b then a star b is simply equal to you are going to say a times a it's a squared a times b it is a b okay then this times that it is um b times a is the same as a b there is nothing to stress there a b and then plus b squared plus b squared minus a b okay with that information we can say a star b is simply equal to a squared plus b squared a squared plus b squared and then i know uh, for like terms and unlike terms we have learned that so this this guy here and that guy here it will give you 2 a b minus a b so it's going to simply give you um plus a b so this guy there the o of that will give you plus a b so this is the first equation so you're going to write equation one ladies and gentlemen do we have any single question on what i've done to the left hand side of which the left hand side is just a star b um i can see frederick yes frederick was your question I can't get you. Yeah, I think it's a huh? Two A B and what? Is okay. I think I know where you are lost a bit. Let me pick you up from there. You are lost on these guys here, the blue guys. So I've said a b plus a b minus a b. Okay a b plus a b is 2 a b minus a b 2 a b minus a b is just a b which is this guy here so in short this one and that one can cancel like that and then you remain with that one is that where you you are lost frederick Unmute yourself and uh, kind of respond. You have seen it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, we are well and good with Frederick. Any other question? Any other question? Please feel free to ask. We are here to learn. Any other question? All right. Okay, no questions. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have... Um, we have just worked 
on the left hand side okay we have now we have worked on the left hand side now let's work on the right hand side okay so we're going to get the right hand side by stating the same thing so you're going to say taking the right hand side taking the right hand side okay such that before you even do the right hand side the most important thing is the formula okay the most important thing is the formula so the formula is a star b is simply equal to open bracket a plus b close bracket squared minus a b so what you are going to do is you are taking the right hand side okay so the right hand side it is a formula which is having something like b star a okay something that is having b star a so if you look at the right hand side it's a bit different from the left hand side which is this and it's also a little bit different from the formula so according to the formula we are starting with a and for the right hand side we are starting with b so that simply means that where you see a okay because a has been replaced by b a has been replaced by b so where you see a in this formula you are going to put b and where you see b in that formula you are going to put what a because they have changed and we don't know a and b what they are so sometimes a star b cannot be equal to b star a that's the reason why we are just what we are put following the formula so in short what i'm saying is where there is a in that formula you're going to put b and where there is b in that formula you're going to put what you're going to put a because things have swapped so squared minus b a okay so b star a is equal to um mostly i get questions from people from students especially on this particular point so i'm going to allow you guys if any one of you has a question do we have someone with a question on this part? A lot ask me questions on this. Do you have any question? Oh, Caleb, are you okay? Is Caleb around? Okay, Tuawona, are you okay with um, this information I've given here? Yes, I'm good, sir. Okay, alright. So, there basically, now we are going to say B plus A open bracket B plus A and then minus B A. So, from there, you are going to have B star A is simply equal to b open bracket b plus a close bracket plus a and then b plus a close bracket minus b a after that you can say b star a is simply equal to b times b it is b squared b times a it is plus um it is plus it is plus a b okay then that times that it's also a b and then that times that it is a squared and lastly this can also be rearranged and say a b if you work out that you're going to say b star a is simply equal to a squared plus b squared plus a b okay so if you check if you check um this guy is the same as what we had okay so in such a case you are going to say uh since the left hand side is simply equal to the right hand side such that such that 
a star b is simply equal to b star a which is equal to a squared plus b squared plus a b okay therefore the binary operation the binary operation which is denoted by star is commutative so since what we have is the same then that means that this binary operation is commutative so if you observe very well uh, this is our equation 2 so if you observe very well equation 2 and equation 1 are just one and the same so our equation 1 was this one which was from the left hand side which was from the left hand side if you look at this one and you compare it with um, the right hand side which is the the equation the equation 2 they are just one and the same so ladies and gentlemen do we have any question at this particular point i've seen a hand from benzo what's your question benzo what's your question good evening sir evening how are you good evening so my question is fine thank you on the part when you were arranging there we were coming with b squared plus a b plus a b plus a squared minus a b it's a uh, minus b a yeah so now i'm wondering how you changed the b a the negative b a okay to a b like is it possible to swap one? why didn't we leave it in a form of b squared plus a squared plus B. okay that's that's a very good question so if you look at this part where i change from negative b a to a b you need to understand that multiplication is associative and it's also commutative i think this is something that i have taught um uh, okay not here let me just go up a bit and stay, yeah somewhere here if you look at the first part i did one times two is the same as two times a i was explaining that uh, some mathematical arithmetics such as multiplication and addition they are what they are commutative and they are also associative so meaning it doesn't matter how you arrange them so long they are what they are commutative okay this doesn't matter how you arrange them so long they are what they are commutative like in this particular case a b a b and b a they are just one and the same but I want to make it sort because I have B times A, it is B A, or it is A B, so I wrote A B. Then A times B, it is A B. Okay, I'm writing A B because in equation one, I'm having A B. That's the reason. But the major thing that you need to understand is that multiplication is what is commutative. So A B, let's say you have one times two like i stated it's going to give you what benzo one times two it is what it's two and then if we say two times one it is what it's still two that's why the arrangement doesn't matter because these guys are what these guys are commutative they are also associated i think that is understood is that understood yes thank you sir for me my my mind was if we, if you have to prove since we have a star b is equal to b star a so i thought the second equation has to follow in line with the commutative formula it has to start with a b no it's okay. okay 
beard now. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Florence, you had a similar question or it's different? I had a similar question, but now I I had two. The one that she asked and the one that I'm supposed to ask right now. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I wanted to ask that, um, is it the math that is supposed to solve for equation 1 and equation 2? Or maybe the equation 2 is for us to prove that the, the answer for um, equation, uh, equation 1 and for 2 are the same, then that's the correct answer. Or maybe it's a math that you're supposed to solve for 2. You have to solve them the way I've solved them. The left hand side, you solve it and simplify it. All you have been given is the formula. So you find the left hand side. If you look at the formula and how the left hand side has come out, they are a little bit different. They are the same, but they have been expressed in a simpler form, in a form that you are able to compare. So you do the left hand side, you also do the right hand side, then you compare them and see if they are the same or not. So the answer is, it's a must. Is that okay? All right. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Um, by the way, this this movement is a little bit uh, long because a little bit long, 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 not wrong, long. The reason is that um, the reason why I've made it long is that I want you guys to understand and I want you guys to not to have difficulties but there is a simpler way you can expand these guys so that simpler way is whereby i say this a to the power two it is a squared then b b to the power two it is b squared and then i say two times a times b it's going to give me plus two a b then minus a b so if you look at this method it's short I'll just make two movements I've reached at that particular point. But I'm not going to teach this because I'll teach this when we do binary binomial expansion. Okay, let's quickly look at C. Let's quickly look at B. So for B, we have 1 star 4 star 3. Is this the... the the information we have for b1 am i correct are people around okay so let me just quickly okay it's it's correct so for b1 i've been given that which is one star four and then star 3 so i'll start with uh b1 okay all right so um in that case this is what i've been given to evaluate so like i stated the i should be on the formula so the formula is a star b is simply equal to a plus b and then squared minus a b so what i'm going to say i'm going to get what is in the brackets first get what is in the bracket first i'm repeating that get what's in the bracket first so what's in the bracket first is one star what star four one star four so meaning that where there is a you're going to put one so where there is a i'll put one plus where there is b i'll put four and then i do squared minus where there is a i'll put one and where there is b i'll put four that means that a star a star four is simply equal to that will be five squared is 25 minus four so one star four is simply equal to 21 so this is the first part which we have so this one star four has been found to be 21 meaning this 21 will now replace what will replace that particular part of one star one star 20 one star four so meaning that 
we are now going to go into the next part whereby we, we get this 21 we replace it there so it's going to be 21 star what star 3 okay 21 star 3 so 21 star 3 is simply equal to where there is a you're going to put 21 and then plus where there is b you're going to put 3 and then you're going to say squared minus you say 21 times 3 so this will be equal to what is 21 plus 21 plus 3 is just 24 so you have 24 squared minus 21 times 3 it is simply 63 okay so if you work out what is 24 squared what is 24 squared what is 24 squared okay so five seven six minus 63 so when you work out that this will simply be equal to this this will simply be equal to 513 so for that one you are found to be 513 so this is the final answer i hope you guys have seen how i have moved one i've dealt with the with the brackets after dealing with the brackets i have found 21 and this 21 is replacing where the brackets are then i utilize the formula once again to find the final answer is there any question on this particular point okay seems like everyone is clear we can move on and look at uh, the other part so the other one is one star open bracket four star what star three okay so according to the formula which we all know but i'll relate it because that's where my eyes are so a star b is equal to a plus b and then squared minus a b so in that particular question what i'm going to do is i'll start with the brackets there so i'll say 4 star 3 is simply equal to then i'll say where there is a i'll put 4 so 4 plus where there is b i'll put 3 and then i'll say squared then minus 4 times 3 then after that you're going to say 4 star 3 is simply equal to 4 plus 3 it is simply 7 squared minus 12 so 4 star 3 4 star 3 is simply equal to 49 minus uh, 12 what is 49 minus 12 anyone with the the answer 49 minus 12 37 so there we have 37 so after you have 37 that means that where there is where there is 4 star 3 you are going to replace 37 so 37 will replace that particular part like that so after the, the replacement is done after the replacement is done then you are going to have 1 star 37 do not do not swap them if one is this side and then what you have found is that side put it where it belongs do not swap them so this is simply equal to 1 plus 37 then you say squared minus 1 times uh, 37 then from there you can simply say 37 plus 1 is simply 38 so that 8 squared is simply 1,444, 1,444 minus 37. If you work out this, um, this will simply give you minus 37. So this will give you 1,407. Remember that you are not supposed to use the calculator as you work out this. 
so once you find these two guys you need to go to the last question which is um, stating whether this binary operation is associative or not so let's say we had the first one which was one star four brackets and then star three and then this one um the other one was one star open bracket four star three okay so if you look at what we have there this is according to our for our law so if this is a this is b this is c this is a this is b this is c if you look at a and a there they are one one b four four c three three then according to to our law for a binary operation to be associative this expression must be equal to that expression so if i was to pose a question is this binary operation associative or not someone to give it a try is this binary operation associative or not yes it is, it is not associative correct so okay so since since one open bracket star four close bracket star three is not equal to open uh, one star open bracket four star three okay the binary operation is not associative the binary operation is not associative associative so what i'm just trying to explain is there are some question whereby they give you um they give you values like they were have given a, a where c depends on b there are also some question whereby you are just asked to prove it if it's associative and you have not been given any number so in such a case then you need to refer to the question so according to the question we were told that this is the set of real numbers so since this is a set of real numbers you can pick up any numbers which are real numbers and then any three different numbers which are real numbers you can pick them up and when you pick them up you you analyze them the way i've analyzed b and then you'll be able to reach the the final answer so then this will guide you in a case there was no b in a case there was no b then this statement is going to guide you whereby you're going to say um the binary operation star on real numbers so in such a case you can pick anything you can pick one to be your a then you can pick uh zero to be your b and you can pick your uh one to be your c so you can say negative one to be your a and b to be zero and c to be one so you just say let a be equal to negative one b be equal to zero and c be equal to that then you create something of this kind so you solve for that you solve for that and then to help you to analyze if it is associative or not associative so ladies and gentlemen um if you observe very well these are very basic things and these are things that you can easily uh, know and easily be able to get even a hundred percent so this is the last topic for the quiz one coverage so i don't know if there is any question on this part so that we can move on is there any questions ladies and gentlemen feel free to ask feel free to ask before i move on
do we have questions ladies and gentlemen do we have questions